Hello guys! In this video I will tell about the most interesting things Zenitco did in 2021. I will tell about products that were released in 2021, about the designs we were working on and about those improvements we implemented in existing products. That was a busy year, more than 30 new products were introduced, our factory grew and uh, among all the things that were done, I chose 10 most interesting and I will tell you about them today. My name is Anastasia, let's start! Tenth position, new main color, golden khaki. Before that moment we used to have two main colors, black and desert. Black is more smooth, Desert is more rough. By the way, desert absorbs paint really well, so if you plan to paint your rifle afterwards, desert is a good option. And we've been working on other colors during the year, made some test batches, experimented and chose the best one. The best one is golden khaki. In the characteristics of remission it is the same as black and it is also smooth. Some products have already been made in this color, for example, now I'm holding Sport 1 kit and B33 dust cover, other rails were made as well and new products will be also introduced in this color, so it is one of our basic colors now. And by the way, not only rails will be made in this color, but electronics as well. Next products are small sized, but very useful. On the ninth position, charging handles, RP5 and RP4. RP5 is designed for AKM and rifles based on AKM. RP4 is designed for AKS-74U. One of the most frequently asked questions that I received all the time was when are you going to design a charging handle for AKM? We did that in 2021. Why did this question arise? Because different AKs have different shapes of their regular charging handle and AKM or AKS-74U shape differs from the shape of, for example, AK-74M, which is compatible with RP-1 charging handle. So RP-1 is not compatible with AKM and AKS-74U, that's why it required new designs. Our concept is that we do not glue charging handles on the regular charging handles, we screw them on. So there are two inner parts that hug the regular charging handle and the top cover which is put on those parts and everything is screwed together. Let's look at the shape of our RP4 and RP5. Visually, they differ from our previous charging handles with these screws on the top, but the inner part is also completely different. And if you plan to purchase a charging handle, please first watch a video that I made on this channel about different shapes of regular charging handles, because they are different and we can't check all of them here in Russia, because we do not have all the foreign rifles here. So better to check it on your side. I show different shapes and showed which charging handles are compatible with which shapes. So now it is comfortable to do like this. And like this. Eighth position includes a lot of new products, that is RPK modernization, RPK and rifles based on it. Viaper and Saiga 308, which has RPK based receiver. For them we released various handguards, buttstocks and a dust cover. I will start with handguards. In 2021 we released Sport 5 and Sport 5U kits for RPK and Viaper. For example, on this RPK Sport 5U kit is installed. Sport 5 
looks like it, but it is shorter. They are for those models of Leopard that have a fixation lever on handguard retainer. For example, VPO205 has no fixation lever on handguard retainer. We designed Sport 6 kit for it. So Sport 5 and Sport 5U kit are not compatible when there is no fixation lever. Next, Saiga 308. It has some differences from Viaper and RPK because its receiver is based on RPK, but handguard retainer is based on AK. It required new kits. For Saiga 308 we designed Sport 8 and Sport 8U kits. They visually look like Sport 5 and Sport 5U, but there are some differences in the place of the handguard retainer. Next point – dust cover. Our B33 dust cover for AK became a real classic, and we modified it for RPK receiver. That's how B33 RPK appeared. Note that it is compatible only with those models of Viaper and RPK that have a regular dust cover which can be taken off. If it is on a hinge, B33 RPK is not compatible. Finally, buttstocks. This RPK has a regular fixed buttstock. For such RPKs we designed PT5 RPK. It is a folding stock for fixed rear trunnion. And for Viaper and RPK that have a regular folding stock we also made a number of buttstocks. For example, on this RPK PT3 RPK is installed. Also, there is PT3 Viaper, longer one PT3S Viaper, also based on PT1, PT1 RPK, PT1 Viaper and PT1S Viaper. I made a video about that, where I describe everything in details. There are a lot of new buttstocks. All of them are standing under the New Year tree. There are really lots of them. Let's move to questions of ecology. What good was made for the environment this year? We made Ecologist Brass Catcher on the seventh position. It allows to catch brass during shooting and leave less trash after you. It is installed on Picatinny rail and has a quick release mechanism. It is manufactured in two colors, green and black. By the way, Green matches with golden khaki really well. I didn't make a review of this product on this channel yet, so let's look at it a little bit closer. The brass catcher consists of a bag, straps that you pull before starting to shoot to adjust the brass catcher. Here is the mount. Also, the kit includes this spacer and a screw they will be useful if you plan to use the brass catcher together with a white red dot. And finally, here is Velcro for patches. I use Zenitka patch. It is sold separately. Top 10 would be incomplete without muzzle devices. So number 6 – shadow muzzle devices. They became available in Russia a couple of days ago. That are Shadow 1, Shadow 2, and Shadow 3. They are not considered as suppressors on the territory of Russian Federation. They are designed to make sound more comfortable for ears and reduce flash. The bigger the shadow, the better the effect. So less stress for ears and less sparkles. They are not currently sold for export, so if you want to own such a glorious muzzle device, consider moving to Russia. I will make a separate video about them with demonstration of shooting with different calibers. Now I'll just briefly tell you about main features. They are compatible with calibers with the diameter of a bullet not bigger than 9 mm, including 9 mm. Also, when you buy this device, you choose the adapter in the kit. There are several adapters for several threads. At the moment 
we make 24 by one and a half, 14 by one left, 16 by one and half by 28. We may make other threads in future as well. So I can use this one. This one is uh, 24 by one and a half, but I can use any other on the same device. One more feature, it is connected to shadow one. Shadow one has this thing in the kit, so I can make it smaller if I want to. I unscrew the outside part unscrew inner part I can use this part on its own as a muzzle brake or I can put this part on top and use it in a smaller size. Yes, the sound will be louder, but the weight will be smaller, so it depends on goals that you set for yourself. First half past, fifth position is about global changes that affected a huge number of our products. Handguards update. We updated most of the handguards that we make. First change is about mini basis rail. We added mini basis rail on the back bottom part of handguards. Initially it was designed for installation of RL1 hand stopper here, but also other equipment compatible with basis can be installed as well. It is especially good on ATS-74U. Here on B11U handguard RL1 hand stopper is installed and it is very very comfortable as if it has always been here. Second change is about basis rail. Basis rail has oval openings and round openings. Oval openings are used for installation of additional equipment by oval mount. We decided to expand the number of oval openings and reduce the number of round openings on some of our handguards, also for your comfort. Finally, we updated our classic handguards with Picatinny rails on sides. In videos I paid a lot of attention which screws to use with which handguard. Basis rails use M5x7 shorter screws and the handguards with Picatinny rails are used with M5x9 longer screws. We updated our handguards with Picatinny rails to simplify the process and now all the handguards can be used with shorter M5x7 screws. So new handguards with Picatinny rails that are being manufactured from this moment can be used with M5x7 screws. Zenitka as a manufacturer started its journey as a flashlight manufacturer and flashlights are still a very important part of our work. So number four, flashlights. Clash 1 plus laser and Clash 1S plus laser. I already made a review of Clash 1 plus laser on this channel. I'll make a review of Clash 1S plus laser in 2022. That are devices 2-in-1, flashlight and laser. The interesting thing is that the laser model is located inside the reflector, under the glass, that provides them with small size. Also they are universal, the kit includes two rear parts, pistol and rifle. Here is a pistol rear part, you can connect a tactical switch to the rifle rear part. They are made in several modifications, with red visible laser, with green and an infrared version, that's about both Clash 1 plus laser and Clash 1S plus laser. On Glock 17 I have Clash 1S plus laser and on AK Clash 1 plus laser. So what's the difference? Let's look closer. Clash 1 plus laser, Clash 1S plus laser. I'll put one more Clash 1 plus laser here so you could understand the size. 
Clich 1s plus laser is smaller. Why? Because of the reflector. Clich 1 plus laser has a reflector. It is designed for work on longer distances. It has a more focused beam of light. Clich 1s plus laser is so-called wall of light flashlight. It is good for small distances. It gives a very wide angle of view, about 100 and 60 degrees. So what to choose depends on the goals that you set for yourself. Also here Clich 1 plus laser is installed with a rifle rear part. It has a tactical switch in the key that can be installed both on Picatinny rail and on basis rail directly. Third place handguards for AK-12. One of the popular questions that we received when we are going to make handguards for AK-12 and TR-3. We made them and not one, but two Sport-12 and Sport-12U kit. On this AK-12 there is Sport-12U kit installed. Sport-12 is shorter. Both kits have basis rails on all sides for installation of additional equipment that is compatible with bases. And if you need Picatinny rails somewhere on basis rails, you can install them anywhere where you need them. For example, on this Sport 12U kit, on the bottom there is B2 leader rail and on the top B2 rail. And as far as I started talking about leader line, we're slowly moving to the Second position. Second position, leader, and I'm talking not only about the leader kit, but about it as well. Not so long ago a video was released about a new product, leader kit, that's a long handguard for AKs up to the front side. It is already available, and I pointed that it has a top front lowered position for installation of additional equipment, for example, Pierce devices. In that exact video, I installed Pierce 4 combined device. That's a dual laser in visible and infrared ranges. And it fits really good. It seems that it can't be even more perfect, but it actually can. This place was initially designed for installation of integrated electronic block, and we finally are ready to show it to you. So meet Pierce Leader combined device. Pierce Leader is an illumination complex 4-in-1, visible flashlight, infrared illuminator, infrared laser and visible laser. It is integrated inside rails. Here is a control button, also a tactical switch can be connected if needed. It does not cover the line of iron side and it looks really, really good. We started the test of Pierce Leader combined device. I will keep you updated when we have more news. You may ask whether it can fit somewhere else, and I would say yes, it can. Let's return to AK-12 that we talked about before. Pierce Leader on AK-12 on Sport 12 UK. When we were designing Sport 12U, we kept in mind that this awesome device is going to come out. And for other rifles, we will introduce a special platform for installation of Pierce Leader on Picatinny rail. So it is perfect for Leader kit, but it can be used on other rails as well. First place. The most important development of Zenitka in 2021. Vzor Red Dots. We learned how to make red dots. Through the year we've been doing research and development and numerous tests. And finally, Vzor 1 Red Dot is ready to be available. And it will become available in the beginning of 2022. In January a review will be released with unboxing, characteristics and modes demonstration. Look how nice it is. Small sized, has brightness control of modes, has modes selection, dot, circle, circle and dot, 
has quick release platform, there are different platforms with quick release, without quick release, height extensions for different heights 20, 30, 39, has platforms for Picatinny, has platforms for bases, has platforms for 45 degrees, for very different purposes. It can be placed anywhere you want it. Not so long ago we posted a video on our Instagram Zenitka official with red dots all over the rifle on different platforms. Some of you said that that's a cursed gun. To my point of view, that's a blessed gun. Plus thousand to accuracy, not less. From Zor 1 name you may guess that there will be other devices in the line and you are right, we are working on other devices, including combined devices, for example, those that measure distance. The main thing is that we learned how to make red dots and now we can develop this technology. Vzor red dots are manufactured on our factory in Naginsk. Naginsk is a town near Moscow and all of our products are manufactured there. We have never given anyone any licenses to make our products. So original Zenitko products are only on our website en.zenitko.ru and in the stores of official partners. The list of official partners is stated on en.zenitko.ru as well. New year is coming. 2021 was an exciting year. I hope 2022 will be even more exciting and interesting. It was a pleasure to make these videos for you. Thank you for your comments. They are very, very nice. Just note that Anastasia is not shortened as Anna. It is actually nice, but that is fine. See you in new year and wish you'll be happy.